What's up guys? Jeremy Marquez back with J Marketing. I call you close more real estate listings and we are getting ready to do uh, session number two of the live event here. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just make sure everything's set up properly and we will get this rocking and rolling. How's everybody Sunday going? Hmm? How was church? How's family time? How is the prospecting? How are the open houses? How is everything going? Please uh, say hello in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have this shared and everybody that wants to come in and hang out is able to. It is about to be noon out here in California. Hey Jack, welcome to the live event. Give me one moment here while I get everything set up. Welcome to the live event, everybody. I'm going to be making cold calls to expired, canceled listings, for sale by owner listings in the Tampa Bay St. Petersburg market now. Let me just make sure I have everything set up. How's everybody's Sunday going so far? So, so far this morning, the live event, uh, we prospected and cold called for about an hour in the San Diego market, and we were able to create one warm lead from a cold expired listing. And now we're gonna move over to the Tampa Bay St. Petersburg market. While I'm doing this, if you guys have any questions or any comments or uh, just want to say hello, please do so in the chat. And hey, Jerome. I'm just making sure everything's set up and then we'll start doing some cold calls. And hey, if you guys have questions or anything like that, just please uh, say hello in the chat. Are you guys cold calling today? How are things going? How's your August going? Uh, just a little bit of an update on me. Again, guys, I'm Jeremy Marquez with the J Marketing. Um, I work virtually with realtors and brokers nationwide. Uh, they hire me to prospect, cold call, and make, set appointments for listings. And I'm also rolling out now a coaching 
consulting and training program for your team, for your ISAs. If you don't, aren't ready to delegate or if you just want to do it yourself, um, I'm able to coach and train alongside and uh, make sure that you guys are set up with the right processes and systems. And uh, yeah, make sure you're set up for success. I think we're about ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah? Okay. Let's go. So these are going to be for sale by owners, guys. They just put them online. So it's a little bit of a, probably going to have a lot of conversations. What? Hi, this is Jeremy. Hi, this is Kim. Hi, Kim. This is Jeremy with Frank Albert Realty. Uh -huh. hey, can you give me just a minute? Sure, take your time. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, don't be sorry. I was reaching out about the property that you and Brent have up for sale by owner. Yes, sir. Is it still available or do you already accept an offer? Yes. Yeah, we're, it's still up. Okay, awesome. Well, I saw that how you had it priced in some of the pictures and the market's real hot, so I figured that you may have already accepted an offer. Well, I'm guessing you're probably getting more calls from realtors and brokers than buyers then? Uh, actually, I have not answered the phone all morning. I've been in church, so I just <laughs> I just happened to sit down, so I have not answered my phone to know what I've gotten. Thanks for answering for me. That's not a problem. I'll get to the point because I don't want to waste your time. Are you open to working with buyer specialists if they brought a qualified buyer for the property? Because you guys are doing it by owner, right? Correct. And 620 is what you're asking? That's the appraised amount, yes. That's oh, you, appraised in December of 2018, so oh, just oh. over a year ago. You, so you may it may be worth more now that the market is so hot, but you did have an appraisal done in December of 18? Yep. Yep. Okay, awesome. And do you guys live there or is it vacant? Okay, great. And when you do sell it, are you guys relocating or what are your plans? Yeah, we're, we're planning to move out of state. Okay. And you guys need to be there by a certain period of time? Nope. We don't have to sell. We just would like to. Well, as I mentioned, you know, the market's really hot right now and you probably have no issues selling it on your own. But by the off chance, you don't get the price point you wanted or you couldn't get it done in a certain period of time. Are you going to work with any listing specialist to get it listed? Uh, not sure. OK, well, like I said, I work with Frank Albert Realty. Uh, we do sell a lot of property right in the area. We work with buyers and sellers. And what I wanted to do, Kim, mm -hmm is set up a time for one of our specialists to look at the property in person and give you all of the information of how we work. And then also, if we had a buyer, we would have that relationship established. Are you going to be around Tuesday or Wednesday for a quick meeting? Uh, maybe Wednesday. Tuesday I have, um, we homeschool our children. We have a class on Tuesday, so I'm not available on Tuesday. And Wednesday I have a short window because we are back into sports, so... We have volleyball practices <laughs> all week. What's the window looking like? And I'll look at our calendar. Um, I have to leave here by 11 a.m. So if I had one of our specialists come by at 9, that'd be okay? Yep, that would be fine. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have your Gmail account, the Kim Saving at 1991. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kim Saving 1991 at Gmail. Correct. Okay, so when we get done here, um, I'll send you an email with the name of the specialist that will come by Wednesday at 9. Okay. 
Okay. Does this phone get texting? Yes, it does. Are you better with text or email? It doesn't matter. I have both. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just look here. Um, looking at everything that you... Wow. Did you guys get uh, professional photographers or did you do that yourself? Um, we actually listed it in 2018 for about three months with a realtor. It didn't care for him, but that was his pictures. Ah, Okay, so it was listed in 2018 and didn't weren't really happy with all how that went. Yeah. Now, just so I can put it in the notes, because uh, we'll want to know. You said you're moving out of state. Where are you going? Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay. Awesome. And did you guys already find a property there? Uh, no, we're just kind of looking, just narrowing it down. Well, when the specialist who you're meeting with, and I'll put it in the email who's coming by, I'll let them know, and they would be happy to give you a referral if needed in that area. Okay. 9 a.m. Wednesday, I will text you and email you when we get done. And just, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll end on this. Other, I mean, you put a lot of great information here in the summary. Is there anything else that they should know before coming by? Awesome. Well, I'm Jeremy, Frank Albert Realty. One big thing that we do different, and I'll end on this, is that if he decided to work with us, our sister company that Frank owns is called Sublime Staging. So in some cases, we will stage the property and we back it with a 90-day guarantee that if you decided to work with us and we, for some reason we didn't get the job done in 90 days, we take $1,000 off of our commission. So all of that will be in the email I send over, as well as the name of who will be assigned to the meeting. And we'll see you Wednesday the 2nd at 9. Okay, not a problem. I'll see you then. Bye, Kim. Thank you. Okay, guys, so that's a for sale by owner nurture call. She just put it online. She's moving to Tennessee, so they need to sell. They're just kind of testing the waters. Not a lot of, they don't have to sell right away. She said that she was listed back in 2018. They weren't happy with the situation. The property didn't sell. Clearly that, you know, can't be too happy about that. So that's gonna go in there as an appointment. And the great thing is that everything is recorded, um, all of my conversations. And so when I, when I assign that to one of our specialists, they'll be able to listen to the call. They'll be able to talk with me as needed. So from here, I create a group text and then an email as well with everybody on that. So I'm going to pull up my roster for Frank Albert's Realty um, because I actually assign who that who's going to be going out there. We do like a red robin for everybody in that office. And so I'm going to pull up my list here and that's admin side. I'm not going to do that too much, too much of the admin stuff right now during the live session. But that right there, guys, is a listing appointment. Okay. So whoever that does go out there will be meeting with, um, with, with Kim. And from there, uh, they'll, they'll bring all of the information as far as numbers, the CMA, property values, go over in detail of the strategy of what we would do to get it listed. And let's see here. Yep, Randy's gonna get that one. And let me take a look at the price point. So in Vulcan, I can create a, an appointment. So that will sync with my Google Calendar. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in there for Wednesday at nine. Uh, lucky me, she was in church this morning and so she didn't, wasn't able to get a lot of phone calls. And so I'm one of the first ones that she had spoke to about that. So uh, that's good. And, and you know, there's not really anything negative or positive, but sometimes if it's later in the day and they've been fielding a lot of calls, sometimes they'll just turn their phone off. And so that's good, right? Uh, appointment set. We're going to put that on calendar. Okay, so 9 a.m. She's asked to be gone by 11. She did say that.
Awesome. And then I'm going to download uh, the hot sheet, which I will have all of the listing information as well as, let's see here. The call recording. Let me take a look here. I've been setting a lot of really solid appointments for Frank Albert Realty and their team. I think in the last two weeks, like over 20 appointments. And so there's a lot of listings that are coming from that. Yeah, man, that's what it's all about right there. If you guys have any questions or any comments on, on that or that process, please, while I'm doing this admin stuff, go ahead and use the chat box for that. So right now I'm creating a group text with the agent that I'm assigning that to and the broker. So they have that. And then after the call session is when I'll go back and do the admin stuff as far as uh, sending Kim a text message, sending Kim a, um, an email and that type of, type of thing. But I just wanted to notify uh, the agent that I'm assigning that to so they can be prepared to get to work on that. And then what I'm going to do here, I just want to, you see, you know, about 75% of what I do is, of course, the cold calling and the appointment setting. But a lot of what I do is paying attention to detail and the admin side of stuff to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Because when there's a relationship like this with my realtors and brokers that I work with, the communication and everything needs to be extremely on point. And the more information, the better. And I'm very thorough with that type of stuff. Um, I feel like the more inf information I provide, the better, because it's more to better to have more than you know not enough, right? That's my outlook on, on all of this. So right now I'm going to go ahead and send Kim a text as well. And then we'll move on to the next call, guys. We're rocking and rolling. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at this property too. And when I pull it up, I'll show you guys a picture of it. I'm really curious about how the property looks. I mean, it sounds like it's, I mean, 600,000 in that market, you get a lot. So I'm guessing it might be on the water, but we'll take a look here. Because uh, Tampa Bay, St. Pete is right there on the Gulf of Mexico.
And what I'll do to, for Kim is I'll provide uh, a link to our website, uh, a link to the agent's bio that will be coming out. So that way she has a chance to take a look at that and put a name to the face. going on Charles Robert Charles all right so let me put a, a link in here All right, and then I'll note in the uh, on the actual lead, the communication. So a lot of what I'm talking about now, guys, is more like my inside process and system, which, as I promised in the description of this event, I'm going to share some of that information with you guys. So that way, you know, I'm very transparent with my with what I do and the process and system, because if I can help in any way, that's what I'm here to do. Of course, I offer coaching and consulting in addition to that, but I'm, I'm a firm believer in giving as much free information as possible because hey, I'm here to help. And I, I'm only as good as I can show somebody else to be. So that's my outlook on all of this. All right. So that's going to go in there. Um, I'm not going to send the email. All right. And then we'll just move on to the next call here, guys. What do you think? Yeah. All right. High five. Another for sale by owner here. So get another one, right? Get another one back to back. Give me one second here. Like I said, I wanted to pull that property up. We'll take a look at it real quick before we move to the next call. You guys want to see it? All right, let's take a look at it. Okay, that's nice. So this is the property for the appointment that I just set. Six hundred thousand in Tampa, St. Pete gets you a lot these days. In California, that property would be well over a million dollars. Look at that porch. That's awesome. next So far today, one warm lead, one hot appointment. Doing it, guys. This is how it's done. This is Steve. Steve, Jeremy calling from Frank Albert Realty. Hi. Steve, I think I was, I don't know if I have the right number, but I was calling for Christopher. Christopher Chris, and supposedly the owner of 8743 on Baywood Park. Oh, the owners are uh, John and Fred. Uh, it's an LLC actually owns that property. I can help you with that. What, what, do, you, what do you need? 
Well, I'm calling for Frank Albert Realty. Are you their realtor? I am. Gotcha. Well, that's why I was calling to see uh, what their plans were with that. Are, are they working? So are you going to have the listing or are you just helping with the FISBO? Uh, I'm going to have the listing also. We're doing some finishing touches and then we're getting ready to go on the MLS. Okay. So, well, don't want to waste too much of your time. I show just yet, but I'm sorry. I don't want to waste too much of your time. I was calling to see if, to, if we could earn the listing as well. If we have any buyers, we'll let you know. Yeah, let us, yeah, no, they got any, I'm an agent. I'm just kind of previewing it until it's ready to go on the MLS. Hear you. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. Thanks. So we don't want to waste too much time there, guys. We just move on to the next, right? Good morning. It's Jeremy calling from Frank Albert Realty, and it's already three o'clock. And I said, "Good morning. How are you?" <laughs> you know how those days go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I've actually been going since five a.m., but hey, I'm just still in morning mode, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, well, what can I do for you? I'm guessing you're calling about the house. Bingo! Um, I was calling about the property that you're selling by owner. Uh, it looks like you guys have it up for two ninety nine. Uh-huh. And I know you just put it online. It's probably pretty early, but I was calling to see if you're working with buyer's agents, if they presented a buyer for it. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah, I actually run a couple of Keller Williams offices, so I'm very happy to do it. I just got anxious and threw it on. I, as a leader in the brokerage, I don't compete with the agent. Okay. Um, even though I'm licensed, I hold it inactively. So I might, I thought about activating it to list it and then thought, you know, I'm just going to throw it on Zillow really quickly and then we'll go from there. But so I might put on the MLS later this week. But yeah, death absolutely um, happy to pay a buyer's agent. Great. And I'm not going to ask the follow up question because uh, you won't need anybody to help you list it. So. Um, let me just take a quick look here. Okay, um, like I said, I work with Frank Albert, and I'm his I'm his ISA, and so I basically just you know gather information for the team and just go from there. Um, okay. I'm curious, the offices that you run, uh, do you guys have an ISA or a cold calling prospecting department? We don't right now. We've been talking about putting one in just because. Like Keller, I don't, are you familiar with, like, with Keller Williams and our models and stuff? I am, which is why I asked. It's kind of like what started the ISA okay. model. Yeah. So we have um, – typically we train agents to kind of do that. We don't usually have it in-house. But we've also been talking about potentially doing it in some of the offices to experiment just to kind of funnel leads for people who are in coaching and things like that. Yep. Um, just because there's some people who do actually need a little more hand holding in the beginning when they're getting going and that sort of thing. So, yeah, so we might do something like that. We're kind of experimenting with all sorts of legion and like providing leads for agents in addition to the models that we already kind of run and teach. So, yeah, we're exploring a lot. It's fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, because I work virtually for Frank Albert Realty and uh, I'm his, you know, virtual ISA. So I was just curious if you guys were doing anything like that. Um, it really all depends on um, from case to case. Um, Florida is really strict, so there's only there's certain ways that things that have to be followed. Um, yeah. So, uh, and I don't want to go too far into that on Frank's time. But what I'll do is, well, um, when we get done here, I'll just shoot you a text, and if you want, we can talk more in detail later. Oh yeah, that would be great. Okay. I love learning what everybody's doing. So yeah. Okay. Well. Anything that makes everybody better. So. It, absolutely, and. I bought the property. Uh, if the team has a buyer, uh, we'll let you know. Other than that, get it, good luck on getting it sold. All right, thanks. Yeah, I know we've had finally just had a little lull with the open health today, so I'm like, oh, I can breathe for a second. <laughs> All right, thanks. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Bye. 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 Bye.
Um, and usually we get hit like the first part. You know, most people want to come at the beginning. But I know I have some people who are coming back to bring other people and stuff. So, okay. yeah, it's been busy, a lot of interest. So I'm excited. Um, the market, I don't know how well you know the local market here right now, but we have about a month and a half worth of inventory. We had a, like a 90 some percent absorption rate last month. It was insane. So, like, it's definitely, it's, they're going like hotcakes. I do know that much. And I know that. That's exactly the case. It's totally a seller's market. And at least with Frank, you know, his listings are going quick for over asking. And so it's awesome for that side of things. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, feel free to pass along the info. I'm happy to work with any buyer's agents, obviously. Um, so, yeah, tell them, bring buyers. We'll let you, uh, I'll let the team know and they'll let you know. And um, I sent you a, a text um, from my personal number. So you have that if you wanted to chat further about the, um, what we're doing on the uh, I, ISA side for Frank. Okay. All right. Awesome. That sounds great. Thanks have, so much. have a good day. Good luck on getting it sold. All right, guys. So um, that there, uh, buyer, buyer side only, she works with Keller Williams. I am exclusive, my company is J Marketing. Um, I will not, and I do not plan to work with any other uh, realtors or brokers in that market. So any markets that I'm working in, San Diego, um, Tampa Bay, I only work with one realtor or one broker or one team at a time. Uh, but I'd be happy to share some information and refer her to a colleague of mine that may need some help with um, some, some new clients and you know that type of thing. But I'm going to put her in as a for sale by owner, buyer only, and then we just move on to the next. Our call has been forwarded to an automated voice. So once again, guys, we're calling for sale by owner listings in Tampa Bay, St. Pete. Hi, there's Dave. Dave, Jeremy over here at Frank Albert Realty calling about the property you're selling. I'm Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. What's up? Well, looks like you guys have that property up for sale, 219. Yes, it's uh, underpriced because I just want to sell it as is, and I got the tenant in there. Somebody wanted to buy it and keep the tenant there. I get 14 a month. 14? Okay. How long is that uh, lease term for? It's a month to month, so he's uh, prepared to get out, but, you know, if he didn't have to move... Um, you don't have to do anything with the place. Just change the paper over. Why are, I'm curious, with the cash flow that you have, why are you unloading that unit? Well, last year I had a couple contracts, um, but 185 and they fell apart. I am in uh, North Carolina building a house and basically uh, want to finish it up. So it's not urgent, you know, as far as, you know, everybody wants to give me low dollar for the place. So I priced it uh, where I thought uh, I could get somebody that sees the value in it. No. Uh, yeah, I'm in uh, I'm in North Carolina. That's just uh, one of uh, a couple places I've had. Uh, I think I picked that one up in 2012. No, I'm going to be a straight shooter here, Dave, and because I don't want to waste any of your time. So Frank Albert and Frank Albert Realty does work with a lot of absentee investor owners like yourself. If he was able to put together a strategy that made sense to you to allow him and the team to get it sold without affecting your bottom line, that 219. Would you be open to listening how that would work? Yeah, but not right away. You know, um, I don't want to have to pay any fees or have to deal with, you know, cleaning it up to sell it and list it that way. You know, that's where, you know, I priced it, you know, priced it to move. So, you know, maybe in the future, that's what I'm, you know, I got a, a bunch of, you know, they just went live with the listing as of uh, yesterday about this time. So, you know, a couple hundred views and a few saved. So I'm just waiting to see what kind of phone calls I get other than investors or, you know, people wanting to list it. Yep. You know, MLS, I'm getting some text messages listed for 99 bucks on MLS, you know. So anyways, I just, uh, this is just uh, the part that I hate. And last year yeah. I was doing the same thing, people want phone calls and I'm just hoping, uh, you know, with the inventory being low as it is, that somebody might want to buy this from a big city and realize that, uh, you know, it's great value. So, yeah, um, maybe, you know, if you want to follow up in a couple of weeks, if it's not sold. Well, you probably won't need it in a couple of weeks. That's That property's probably going to go pretty quick. You know, it's a seller's market. So, if needed, though, 
We'd love the opportunity to at least have that conversation with you to talk to you about what we would do. Uh, just so you know, all of our listings, we put a 90 day guarantee on it to make sure that it gets sold. And if not, take a grand off of the commission. So we don't really take listings unless we know that it's going to be something that will sell in 90 days, you know? Yeah, of course. So I'll shoot you over a little bit of info and just give you a follow up in a week or two. Yeah, that'd be fine, Jeremy. Uh, you want my email? Go for it. I'm ready. T Dixon D T B I X O N D at hotmail.com. T Dixon D I X O N with a D at the end of it. So T as in Tom mm -hmm. D I X O N D oh. at hotmail. Got it. I didn't get it the first time you said it, but I got it now. So T Dixon with the, then a D at Hotmail. T Dixon D e as in David, my name. Right. Not B. D. Uh, it sounded like you said B. So. I, I said D, but it may have sounded like B. We're just confusing each other here. So I have it. Uh, T as in Tom, <laughs> Dixon, D as in David at Hotmail. That's correct, sir. Okay. Well, there will be a resume and an attachment with all of our info and just let us know, and if we have a buyer, we'll let you know as well. All right, you guys out of Tampa? Correct, yeah. Um, it's our, 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 prop, our office is over on Florida. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, All right, yeah, like I said, uh, I just, uh, just put the line in the water. I was hoping to, you know, get a good deal on it. Actually, I even after an evaluation, I, I have 180 cash from Zillow. They wanted to buy cash, but, mm -hmm. you know, they... They valued it at two twenty, but all their fees and shit. They they uh, they just called me today and uh, informed me that oh yeah, we'll pick it up your ends for one eighty. So I had it for one eighty five last year, and you know I didn't want to wait and get less. I figured the market's going up and inventory I'm hearing is low. But yeah, you know I know there's value in it because I got one of the bigger groups like OfferPad and Zillow offered me you know, you know out the door one eighty at this point. So. But yeah, I don't want to pay them to refix it. I can do that. I can like stop the build here and go home and put a new kitchen in and all the things that they wanted to deduct me for. You know what I'm saying? No, I totally get it. And this conversation, you know, I'd love to have one of our specialists have that conversation so they can really get in more detail of what they would do with you. What is fuck? Yeah. No. Um, well, like I said, uh, let me uh, let me see where this listing goes, and uh, we can talk later. Do you have other units that you may need help with? Yeah, they all have tenants in them. I'm trying to, uh, you know, empower, you know, my tenants, you know, that have been living there for five or six years. I got lifers, man, so, you well, know, lucky me, but, you know, it's just, uh, I want to I wanna unload one or two just to get this uh, the house finished up here. About 30% of the properties and units that we sell are tenant occupied, just so you know, there's a, there we can we can work with that. But you, you, you actually keep the tenants in there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like I said, well, how do you how do you pull that and sell the house? You sell it to just an investor. Great question, and that's an answer that I'll be able to get to you when you speak. I'm a, I'm an assistant here, so I would basically connect you with one of our specialists and then go over all of that with you. Yeah, like I said, uh, maybe next week I have a follow up. Will you sound good, Jeremy? Yeah, that's not a problem. I'm gonna send you a text and then an email, um, and it will have some info on us, and then uh, let's follow up. You know, whether that would be the the fifth or the seventh or sixth or seventh, you know, sometime next week. Sounds good. All right, man. All right, Dave. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So Dave is an investor. Um, he has a couple of units. Uh, this particular one is tenant occupied. Um, he has a few others that are tenant occupied. And so we're going to give him a follow-up and then uh, we'll send him that email. We'll send him a text. That's a good opportunity there, you know. And he's an absentee owner, so a lot of it all can be done virtually. He doesn't actually ever have to be in Tampa. Right, so we got one appointment, one hot nurture that could be a potential for a couple of transactions. So good stuff.
man, it's it's amazing. Uh, the rents, the rent prices. So fourteen hundred in Sacramento, California. You're lucky to get like a one bedroom apartment and not that great of an area. Let me show you what this property looks like that he's renting. It's nice. I mean, it's it's definitely something that I would live in. Now, I wouldn't say that it's like, you know, super nice. It's kind of run down a little bit, but hey, 14 bedroom, uh, 14, uh, 1400 for a two bedroom, one bath. That's amazing. That's 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 awesome. And so Dave, he already uh, texted me back. So uh, that's going to be a really good opportunity for the team. Sorry about the camera there. So I'm going to put him in for a follow up and then um, we'll send him that email. And yeah, man, that's a really good one right there. Woo! All right. So you said give it a week or so. You know, here's the thing. He may not need a realtor for this particular unit. However, I create that relationship for the team and then ongoing that could be a lifelong client, right? Okay, so we're going to start the follow-up process for him on, let's see here, we're going to give him a call in a couple of days and then we'll just continue to follow up every day. And since he already replied by text, you know, I'll be able to talk to him, you know, that way, probably just follow up every couple of days. And it, it would not hurt for him to just have a conversation with one of our specialists um, and then that basically be me handing off the, the lead and letting them do their thing from there, right? Kind of want to get some music going, but when I'm going live, I don't play music because I'll get hit for copyright and then it will affect my videos later on. Right. All right, guys, I'm going to finish doing some of this admin stuff and I'm going to shortcut this live. Um, it's been a great live event. So for those of you that have joined, hung out for a little while, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys have any questions, comments, want to get some information about hiring me to do cold calling for you, or if you want to get some information about being part of my coaching and training and consulting program, we can talk about that as well. If you have an ISA or agents that you, that you think would benefit for some training, hands-on to see exactly how I do and what I do, and then ongoing coaching, let's talk about that as well. I'm Jeremy Marquez, J Marketing with a Q, I call, you close more real estate listings. Now we close, we call, you close more real estate listings. Have a great day. It's Sunday. Last day of August is tomorrow. Keep going hard, guys. Let's go. Have a good day.